Hello everybody, my name is Al DePaulo and I'm the Partner Products Manager over here at Bobcad Cam. Today I wanted to take a quick look at uh, programming a multicam uh, three-axis router with the Bobcad software. Now, one of the first steps that you'll want to do is go to our website and uh, you want to go to our post processor download page and you can pick the software that you're using. We do have an OEM uh, post for the multicam. You can choose mill router and you can choose the multicam router inch mill post and you'll be able to download this file and extract um, the post processor to your software. Now uh, I've already done that here and you can see the multicam router is listed here. I can uh, edit my post and you can see a variety of posts that I have in here so I can choose which one I want to work with. Uh, in this example we want to open up a DXF file so uh, from scratch you would do file open you would choose the file of type that you want to work with and then you would pick the file that you're going to open. In this example it's test for Al. Now I have a black background so I don't see anything so what I'm going to do is go to selection mode choose uh, select all uh, from here I'm going to right click, go to modify attributes, color, and I'll choose orange. And that step really isn't necessary unless um, you have a black background like I do. Now from here, even though I don't need to move the part to zero, I'm going to do that because it just makes the rest of the setup that much easier. So I'll go to utilities and translate. I'm going to do a sketch enter, uh, pick my start position, enter my end position, I'll window everything in here, right click, and then I'm going to hold down shift, left click on this line, and I'll grab that snap point there. Uh, and that's moved the part to align with the world coordinate, and then I'll right click and cancel. All right, so basically I have a 4 by 8 sheet here, and I want to cut out some letters. Um, the next step I'm going to do is run the stock wizard. So I'll click on the cam tree, I'll go to milling stock, right click, I will load the stock wizard rectangular stock and what that's going to do is just put a box around the part uh, from here there there are some things that I want to adjust for because when I'm running on a router uh, the material the zero is the spoil board or the table typically and the stock sits on the table and uh, you know you're going to be cutting in all positive movements so if you look at this from a, a front view you can see my stock is located uh, down in Z and I want it up in Z so really what I need to do here is just click enter uh, for my stock size and I'll just let's say we're using uh, half inch uh, MDF or something uh, so I'm going to adjust for the thickness of my material so now you can see it's a half inch but uh, it's still going down in Z so what I want to do is adjust my stock orientation I'm going to click on enter and I'm going to say the stock starts at this value, and this value is going to be a half inch. So now you can see I've set my origin at a half inch for the stock and it's going to go a half inch down. Really complicated way to explain it, but basically I'm setting my material a half inch up in Z uh, for my stock. All right, the next thing uh, that I want to do now that, now that I have my stock set up is I want to set where my origin is. Uh, because I move the part to zero, what I can do is pick from existing, uh, existing UCS or UCS your coordinate system and I'll just pick the top uh, XY. All right, now we have our stock set up and we have our um, uh, origin set up. I will want to choose my uh, post processor again because I haven't defaulted that yet. So we'll go ahead and choose our multicam post processor. The next thing that we uh, are going to want to do is to load in some toolpaths. So, um, what do you do? Well, you right click on machine setup and you go to all your different toolpath options. In this case, we're going to choose mill to axis. Uh, we're going to do a profile cut. We'll go ahead and choose next. We're going to select the geometry we want to work with. So we'll click on select geometry and I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to left click on all the profiles that I want to cut. So I have them all highlighted. When they're highlighted, I'm going to hit my space bar to lock in my selection. I'll go ahead and choose next. Um, from here, I'm going to pick a tool size. I'm just going to type in the tool size that I want to use. Uh, I'm going to set my speeds and feeds. The one thing about the multicam routers 
is they do uh, run in uh, seconds, inches, uh, inches, not inches per minute, it's seconds per minute. Um, anyways, very small numbers in order to have the machine move really fast. Um, inches per second, yeah. All right, so I have my spindle speed, I have my cutting feed rates, I have my tool. I mean, you always have an override out at the controls so you can adjust that. But I have my basics set up there. Uh, this is calling tool number one. Uh, you may have uh, a tool changer or not, uh, so that may or may not matter for tool offsets. Uh, you can always adjust your tool number later uh, before you post. So we got our tools set up, our patterns, we're going to do a standard profile. We're going to compensate to the left, so whatever direction we're cutting in, the tool will offset for half the diameter to the left. Our parameters, we're going to say this is going to go a half inch deep. I'm going to take this in multiple passes and I'm going to do define depths and I'm going to set my depths to 2.45 so I'm going to get two passes at that amount and then the last pass will be whatever's left over. This concept is basically uh, an onion skin concept and of course you can always adjust the values there. No stock for finish. Uh, I do want to use a lead in and lead out. Um, I am going to add, uh, well, you could add an overlap, uh, overlap so it goes past the start point, but I won't worry about that. Uh, quarter inch is fine. All right, all of this is set up, so I have a rough tool. I do have the ability to call a finished tool, but I didn't leave any stock for finish, so it's not calling one. Everything is fine here. So let's go ahead and choose finish. Uh, the last step that I really want to take is I want to um, edit my start points where the tool is going to start cutting from so I'm going to go to start point right click and modify I'll go ahead and um, pick on this corner here and I'll set my direction I'm gonna pick on that corner okay and I'm gonna set my direction if you want to change the direction you just click on the arrow I want all of these cutting clockwise so I'm gonna set them all to a clockwise direction all right, everything looks good. We'll go ahead and uh, space bar on that. Then we'll go to profile, right click, and then compute. So now I have all my tool paths to run around this part. Uh, if I did want to run, uh, pull this up in a simulation, I can go to uh, mill simulation. This will give me a preview of the um, setup. I have a machine simulation in the multi-axis. Um, this is a mill, not a router, so it looks kind of weird, but I'll just put it on workpiece focus here. And uh, this will give me a preview of what it's going to look like cutting this shape out. Uh, everything looks good here. Uh, really, the last thing that I might want to do is go ahead and post out your program. So you can go to milling tools, right click, post. That will post up your multicam program. Uh, from here you can right click and choose save as and then you can save out that file uh, the default is an NC extension but you can change it to dot whatever you may like and that's a quick run through of how to program uh, some basic letters on a multicam router thank you so much guys